Okay, so let's first uh, take a look at how can we uh, set up this uh, broken lines uh, graph. As we discussed, if you just only uh, display the data, uh, not it's no need uh, any uh, data uh, savings. Um, probably uh, this uh, bro uh, broken lines graph will be the easiest way to uh, display the multiple points uh, data. And we just uh, have a look uh, how can it's easily to set it up. And if you like, you can just uh, double click on this uh, broken lines uh, graph. Um, from here, so you can set up the scale for the vertical or the horizontal, whatever. And actually, so this one is only for the numbers of uh, divisions uh, for uh, display. Anyway, it's up to you. Um, it's uh, not uh, critical stuff. Um, we need to uh, set up, uh, come to here to uh, set up the graph. For the graph, uh, if you like, you can uh, just click on this eye line and set up uh, multiple uh, lines, uh, like uh, line one for uh, speed uh, display, line two is uh, for um, frequency for you know the different things uh, display and uh, whatever and and also so underneath uh, from here you can uh, set up so how many points uh, you want to display if you uh, just want this uh, of course uh, if you uh, want to uh, set up uh, a specific address you can click on here this uh, indirect uh, reference and click on set will bring up the US uh, PLC addressing. If you like, you can put any uh, PLC addresses uh, uh, for this uh, specific uh, display. Uh, or you just uh, leave it as a default. As default, uh, you can display uh, 10 points. Um, from our menus, it uh, looks like a you can uh, monitor up to 256 data registers uh, simultaneously so um, that is uh, you know the, it's a pretty much big one and we also uh, can uh, modify the like uh, i already uh, predefined two lines and we can just uh, highlight on that and click on this uh, set line and get into the settings uh, uh, window and then from here you can see if you like you can set up a, as we say we can uh, set up a start address uh, which means uh, you know so from this address uh, for the coming up uh, 10 words we can display in line one for the different points for uh, setting up uh, this uh, starting address you just uh, click on set and then go to yes uh, either like uh, different memory uh, data is a memory or a CL memory is uh, up to you you can uh, use any uh, PLC addressing put it here um, however so, uh, uh, if you do want to put on um, variables uh, and scope here it's also doable as well uh, you can take uh, this box indirect reference and then uh, you can use uh, plc memory uh, like a single words or double words to uh, set up the uh, highest uh, limit maximum uh, value and also for the minimum uh, value as well for this example we just uh, put uh, the minimum value as zero maximum as uh, 513 and for the line colors it's all up to you uh, if you like uh, you can uh, set up a you know, different color whatever even for the markers um, we have a different shape you can choose um, for the line triggers, uh, you can uh, also put a addressing as well. So that is uh, pretty much about uh, the setting. 
for uh, this uh, uh, CX designer also has its uh, uh, simulation sub functions. Uh, we can use a simulation function to see how it works because uh, you know so you can see there is a, a table to uh, set up a uh, ten continuous uh, words. So we can see what's happening. As we say, we can uh, use the simulation uh, to test the result. And then we just uh, click on this uh, offline uh, simulation, save our uh, examples program. Click on start. So we just uh, click on this uh, begin tour and object tools. Actually, uh, this is the original uh, demo program from HQ, uh, just uh, you know, showing up the, some uh, functions uh, for the NSHMI. Uh, to be honest, uh, this program is a bit old. Uh, we can see from here, you can see uh, we have a test tool. We can set up uh, some uh, addressing for the different adjust word and we can set up uh, for the start is this word we just uh, put a value in and then you can say for the line 2 we already got the, the value and we can say what's the next one Next one is going up, and for this one, we just see what's happening. We just put a smaller value. See, it's going down, and we put a higher value again. See, going up. And we just go back to this uh, start addressing, put the zero. See, just go back to zero. And um, of course, if we can change it to different value. That is uh, pretty much about uh, um, how come it's uh, easily to program this uh, broken lines uh, graph function. Um, yeah. That's uh, pretty much about that.